knocked everyone out. The crazy power and true story of Sabriel Matthias is on both screens. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Current IBF junior welterweight champion Subrio Matias is one of the most avoided fighters in boxing today. Moreover, the obvious reluctance to meet in the ring with a boxer from Puerto Rico of more famous guys like Teofimo Lopez and Devin Haney is caused not only by the insufficient media exposure of Matias and, as a consequence, by the inability to secure a substantial bag. This Puerto Rican is a force to be reckoned with in the division and his record speaks for itself. 20 and one with 20 KOs. It is worth noting that despite the impressive numbers and the presence of a heavy blow, Matthias rarely ends the match with one blow. The fighter gains advantage in the ring through hard pressure and a large number of punches. Let's remember how the 31 year old Puerto Rican won his championship title. Subriel's debut in the professional ring took place in December of 2015. It should be noted that the guy's management did not feed his fighter with weak opposition, but rather quickly began to introduce him to experienced and strong opponents. The first test was Matthias's compatriot, the dangerous knockout artist Jeffrey Fontenez. Young Subriel, for whom this was only his fourth professional fight, passed this test with honor tearing his opponent to pieces in only the second round. Second round. Yeah, why, why don't he get the proper coverage? Like, and reverting back to what they stated earlier, a lot of fighters do be ducking. Let me think of something. Um, they just go somewhere like Mexico or something and clean up and have a perfect record up to this point. And then they'll start using things when they are on a superstar level. they start using things. Oh, he ain't got as big as of a bag that I got like money or his name ain't ringing like mine or, or then they start implementing clauses. A lot of these guys really be ducking and be corny, bro. They be ducking, you implement and claws. Why wouldn't you want to come at your strongest and let that individual come at their strongest as well? And then see who the better man for that night. A lot of these guys be ducking. They chasing out the what Floyd did. Got a perfect record, perfect career. A lot of them chasing that. They ducking. They trying to be smart and strategic about how they who they fight. The, and politics with this boxing thing get crazy, yo. This lighter will give you fire no matter what mother nature throws at you. This new incredible electric dual arc tour. In August of 2018, the Puerto Rican prospect faced an opponent whose name was fairly well known to the general public. It was the highly experienced Colombian Bredis Prescott. Matias's countryman, who filled the arena in his hometown of Fajarado, returned home in good spirits. Subriel stopped a seasoned opponent in the fourth round. What, the, what, ha what? what happened? I didn't even see what just happened. Two months later, the 26 year old. This is countryman who filled the arena in his hometown of Fajarado returned home in good spirits. Subriel stopped a seasoned opponent in the fourth round. I seen this twice. I still don't know. Like. And Did a pain just settle two afterwards? months later, the 26-year-old Puerto Rican made his bright debut in the American ring. The experienced Argentinian Fernando Saucedo, who twice claimed the world title, was knocked out in the first round. Matthias' next fight in the American ring on July 19th of 2019 against the undefeated Russian Maxim Dadashev was overshadowed by tragedy. The first half of the fight turned out to be extremely difficult for the Puerto Rican, oh, yeah, he who could not he, adapt he to his technical opponent, who moved well around the ring. But Subriel's blows and his pressure led to the fact that in the second half of the fight, 
Dadashev began to noticeably lose control. The fight came under the control of Subriel, who simply beat his opponent in the 10th and 11th rounds. Dadashev's coach stopped the fight before the final round. The Latin American fighter's joy was short-lived. Dadashev lost consciousness and died a few days later in the hospital due to his injuries. Matthias took the tragedy seriously. The grief from this terrible tragedy will never go away. It's like an electric shock. You never want something like this to happen to a person. God bless him. I will always remember Maxim as a great warrior of the ring. Subria later recalled about that tragic incident. It is worth noting that after Dadashev's death, the boxer returned the fee received for that fight in the amount of $75,000. On February 22, 2020, the Puerto Rican again fought in the USA. And again, his opponent was a boxer with a Russian passport, Armenian Petro Sananyan. Being a clear underdog before the fight, Ananyan did not run around the ring from his formidable opponent, but took the fight at close range. An equal duel lasted until the seventh round, when Matthias missed several dangerous right hooks. Only the ropes saved the boxer from falling, and the referee rightly counted him a knockdown. After this episode, the fighter lost his rhythm, and the initiative passed into the hands of the Russian Armenian. As a result of the fight, Ananyan got a fair victory on points, twice 95 to 94 and 96 to 93. The fighter returned to the ring eight months later and beautifully destroyed the undefeated American Molly Hawkins, who was among the favorites before the fight. Matthias's pressure and his terrible blows neutralized the American's speed. T7 punches thrown per round. Calvin Ford has been in Las Vegas preparing. He does. You know, I do a lot of music shows and I sing the song Something's Got. Well, here is here it is by round by round. Is it? Right. Right. Oh, it happened all oh, going downstairs. <laughs> Especially for the holding. Go over, Malik. In the sixth round, the beaten Hawkins was knocked down. Hawkins goes down in round six, less than a minute remaining. At the no, no, I think, you know, Hawkins has to be careful because the volume of punches yes. has gone down. It's not more that he knocked him down, Matias, on Matias' side. As you said, get the jab and try something. And in a minute break, he capitulated in his corner. Okay, it's over. It's all over. Sorry, Malik. What the fuck? And one. This man had a... A albino eyeball like what the f what, what's wrong with your mitt like what the fuck played it in his corner okay it's over it's all over yep. look look at his his yeah, mitt is white like 18 and one it turned out to be a bright comeback you can't say anything in May man, of 2021, got in Subriel gloves, man. outdid the skeptic bookmakers for the second time in a row. <laughs> a promising boxer from Kazakhstan, Batirjan Zhikembev, who did not know the bitterness of defeat, was simply destroyed by the Puerto Rican. Having confidently started the fight, the Kazakh was unable to hold back the onslaught of his opponent and took the fight adventurously in infighting. In the fourth round, Zhikembev was on the floor of the ring. There's a left hook, and down goes Jukembayev! Defensive can he finish off Jukembayev in SoCal as Matias emptied... And after the eighth, he retired from the fight in a minute break. And not on floor, that left hook. Against one enough, there's a right hook. Connect. And back comes Matias. And thus, we still have an main event on the way to three. That's why I'm glad I'm not a judge. I am Matias ahead. And now Matias unloading upon Jukembayev. 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 That's him. We hear them at a broadcast position. Damn. There's a left hook. Connecting up. And that is the end. The fight has been stopped. Has defeated. Subriel probably remembers January 22nd, 2022 with special pride for himself. He again entered oh, the ring again. against Ananyan. 
Only this time, the result of the fight was completely different. The Russian-Armenian tried to act in the same manner that brought him success in the first fight. Only this time, he himself could not withstand the pace of the fight. He takes a left hook, and you're already starting to see the a unique mindset. And there's that left hook from Petros because he's still, he's now the one being the aggressor. Back to the body. To the jab is Matias. He doesn't make fights like this easy. Combination. Followed by Matias. He countered with the left of his own. Again, but Petros trying to stay in the fight. Matias up against the ropes. Nose cut underneath his right eye as well, I believe. It's been two years since their digs in. You can just tell they bother. Left hook by Matias, now back into the body. Manage how Ananian fights. And Ananian with the need to be in a fight like this. Not a lot of guys can do it. As we see, Matias will wear down his opponents. Even though he is taking multiple. Petros trying to back with the jab. Leaning on him now. Guy has him pressed against the ropes. But Matias certainly seems way. A close fight for sure. Matias. And now both men start to Damn. Drop, that was the Puerto Ring the Rican bell, still got hit. and methodically increased the pressure. And from the seventh round, he completely seized the initiative. Guard yourself at all times. Combination as it can be, but he is, but he is still in the trenches. Is just. He just said he's still in the trenches. What you know about the trenches, my boy? But he is still in the trenches. Is just pouring it on Heath. And he is throwing everything he's got and then a left hook. There you see the blood pouring from the face of Ananian. Round eight on the way. He used to throw it out there back into the body. Right now, I'm looking at the corner of it to save the fighter from themselves. And I think this is starting to... I don't know how much it is really starting to look bad in a body shot. By Matias now, another body shot and not, not on, but I just don't know how much more he can take. In the face of Matias, left hook, followed by the straight right hand of composed. He is picking him apart. Continues back to the body and a huge left hook one of those times because Matias is at the final 30 seconds here of round nine and there's another he takes Get another tag. Down as Ananya curls up a huge right hook just look in the ninth round the beaten Ananya was on the floor of the ring and during a minute break on the doctor's recommendation he retired from the fight And a huge amount of punishment and Matias just but this one was the one that finally put an on you and take a look at the knockdown one more time I mean that was just a Petros because certainly the D1 anti-slip and impact resistant bit is a high quality tool with many that's great Matias did not enter the ring for more than a year and on February 25th, 2023, in a fight against the undefeated Argentinian Jeremias Nicolas Ponce, he won the vacant IBF junior welterweight belt. Like many before him, Ponce started the fight confidently, but in the end, he could not withstand the crazy pressure of the Puerto Rican boxer. That over the hand. Good hook there. Two rounds, two rebounds, but not it's Thank God there. Did it. But he didn't hook with them. And he threw it first. I rarely see somebody do over the hand. Wow. Matias throws a he's still the third. Underrated. At close quarters. Here in this round. I know, and now it's all about adjustments in these fights. 
They've been as close as can join twins for the majority of the I think he can. He showed us that just that in the first said they've been as close as can join twins. He get back and try and jab a little and stay very yeah. fan friendly. The fact that they're such offensive juggernauts, but also the fact that. And let's not forget that Matias has been in this position yes. before against Iyer. Diego Corral is deciding to be right chest mm. to chest with Jose Luis. Just, you know, Shoke is a great fight and he's doing that to discourage Subriel Matias. And we see that by what happened in round one. Landing, more, throwing more punches than Ponce. Wow. Ponce has to get back to the jab, double, triple jab, his way in. Damn. Oh, left hook upstairs by Downstairs. Good combination upstairs. Body ripper, he rips that body good. Scoring for Matias. Walking down Ponce, going to the body. Ponce. Last couple rounds, he's kind of blocking. In the fifth round, the beaten Argentinian was knocked down. And during the break, the boxer retired from the fight. Going upstairs, another left and they retiring. The fight wow. is over. Super the latest appearance of the hero of our video in the ring is dated November 25th, 2023. And again, he was confronted by a previously undefeated opponent, a boxer from Uzbekistan, Shojahan Ergashev. Matthias' constant pressure and his strong blows already drained the challenger of his energy by the third round. Shooter, who, you know, throw Sananyan with a left You exuded hook. all your energy, my you boy. With an edge. You about getting to get it, it now. Jab. He's pushing with the jab. The question is, Ergashev is deciding to fight. You can't do that. Effective I mean, jab from Matias. Does he really want to be in that range against him? I don't know. And give Ergashev credit for that. Matias lands the left hook guard. A sharp jab for Matias. 35. It's the shoes, man. It's the shoes. And there it is right there. And yet he's corralled in the corner again, trying to dodge some of these punches. His jabs against the lefty. That's a remarkable number. Stan has to avoid bending over. It's going to be opening himself up to those. And who is, right? I mean, right. And there's the body shot. Then Matias using the jab now, trying to dodge the. Yes. Was, was bombing away against Matias. After the fifth oh, round, the beaten Ergashev remains yeah. sitting in his corner. Matias' fifth victory in a row due to his opponent's refusal to continue the fight. That's crazy. These boxers nowadays ain't doing that. It's only a few fighters fights I look forward to. to. This being one of them. Matias. Matias, however you want to pronounce it. And Inoue, he got the magic, he got the magic at the golden heart. He got the golden at. You ever play James Bond from Nintendo 64? I can see it in individuals. I can see it. It's different. It ain't, he ain't ducking. He believe he the best and he want to go against the best. A lot of these people, not a lot, but some, they got clean records. And that's proclaiming to be the best, but they really don't want to go into fight the best at all. They're going to use claws. They're going to do whatever they can to leverage. They, you know, they don't want to show up at their best and the other one show up at his best and they see who they don't. It do look crazy though when you got a a clean record and then somebody put some smut on it being a loss, even if it's one. It look crazy. I ain't gonna lie, cause Floyd got the standard. Everybody want that. Everybody want that. I would really like 2024 to be a more successful and brighter year for the Puerto Rican slugger, and that his entourage will be able to organize fights for the guy with opponents of the caliber of Teofimo Lopez. Regis Progrias or Jose Carlos Ramirez. With each of these fighters, Subriel can easily arrange a fight that will qualify for the honorary title, Fight of the Year. What more could fans want from boxers? Yeah, he deserved to get his just doing his press. That's crazy. Was somebody gonna wait until they feel like he leaving his prime and he can't be the juggernaut up there up close with it anymore to try to fight him? And you know how these fighters be for real. But um yeah, I rock with Inoue. I'm, Inoue might be my favorite fighter right now, literally. He really might be. I rock with Ryan, too. I like how he, the power, he, the intent he put behind his punches. A lot of people don't know how to do that. Or they don't have it in them. Or they don't know how to unlock that within themselves. How he swing that left hook and that left up is crazy. You can see the intent behind it. You can see the win. 
And I like that he go directly towards it. Other people doing clauses, they running and everything. No, he going directly to it. N knowing, he should know that this, if he lose this upcoming, it, it probably will put a permanent stamp on his career in a sense where they don't take you serious in the top echelons of the top fighters, at least. But he going towards it. I rock with Ryan too. I rock with Ryan. Um, Eno way, that's my guy. Crawford, he be going. That's, let, wow. I don't know what way this Matias, but let Matias go against Crawford or something. Or somebody, I don't know if people going to go, I don't know if none of them going to go down to the weight of um, Inoue, because I really want to see Inoue fight someone, though. Not just no awesome, no, I, I'm talking about some, yeah. <laughs> I'm losing words, like, damn. <laughs> like, now I want to see him fight, like, somebody that's literally, arguably the best. I don't want to see him just conquer another side quest. I don't want to see a side mission, I don't. I want to see the main bit, the, the, the main mission. <sighs> yeah, ain't no way different, man. Yeah. Let me know what's your top five boxers right now. Let me know. <sighs> That's it for the video. Don't forget to like the video. If you like the video, comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, DM me the link via X, formerly known as Twitter. Let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about. Follow me on Twitch, Kick, and Rumble. Before we start rumbling, I kick your ass and you end up twitching. You seen Matias killed someone, and then like two or three guys retired. Is these boxers making guys retire and, and killing them? Sending them to the loading screen with no HP, no materials, no emotes in the locker, no V-Bucks. They not doing that, bro. A lot of these, man. <laughs> I'll see y'all in the next one, man. I'm out. May Matias get his just due, bro, because that ain't fair. And a lot of people will push it to the side because he ain't got the bag that they got. What was his highest they said? I don't know if they said 75000 or That was one of the fights I heard. And then you got fighters that's making, what, probably $12 million or more. And they have reasons like that. Oh, he ain't got press behind him. Oh, he ain't got... So I ain't... You know, bro, they be ducking, bro. I'll see y'all in the next one, man. I'm out.